Hi folks, it's Coach Wade again and I'm doing another of our knots to know videos. This is knot number seven, so I'm going to teach you how to tie the butterfly. Um, the butterfly is a great knot because it allows you to put a loop or a bite in the middle of your rope without having to work at the running end or the standing end. Um, you're going to see that's going to come in really handy when, uh, when I teach you the trucker's hitch, knot number 13, um, because the butterfly is one of three knots you use in the trucker's hitch. And it's really a critical knot because it, it, uh, the loop in that knot acts as kind of a pulley. And there are all sorts of other uses. I often use this on guy lines for my tent to, um, you know, where I'm going to put in a stake or just to hang gear from the inside of the tent. So it's got a lot of great uses. And you'll sort of see that almost intuitively once you've tied it. Um, and the other thing you're going to love about the butterfly knot is this is going to be probably my shortest knots to know instructional video because it's so easy to tie. It's really simple. Um, and it looks complicated. So when you tie it, you're going to look like a hero. You tied this really cool thing, but it's, it's actually very simple. So with that, let's get started. As I said, we don't have to work with the running end or the standing end. You work right in the middle of the rope. So the first thing I'm going to do is in the middle of the rope or wherever I need this, this knot, I'm going to create two equally sized loops. When I do that, you're going to find that you have three ropes laying across, or three lines laying across your palm. One, two, and three. And we're going to number them that way because what we're going to do is we're going to take number one and we're going to put it between uh, lines two and three. Now we're going to renumber the same way, one, two, and three. And then I'm going to take the new number one and I'm going to carry it over the other two lines and into, the, into those two loops. I'm going to pull it through, and this is the loop we've created with our butterfly knot. Okay? And we basically have the structure of the knot here, but what we need to do is we need to dress it up. And the way you dress this knot up is we're going to first pull from the running and standing end simultaneously to make it tight. When I do that, I might need a little more work, because what we want to see is we want to see obviously the loop in the center, that's what we were trying to create. And then we want to create, or we want to see two collars, which in the case of the butterfly, we're going to call those collars wings. We have our two wings, and then the last thing we want to check is that the, the wings cross over one another in the back. They, they lock over one another in an X pattern, just the way these two do. That's it. It's as simple as it gets. So I hope you like the butterfly knot. It's, um, it's real simple. And take a couple, turns, try, or a couple attempts trying it, and you, you'll really know it. It's an easy one. Thanks, folks.